world can't buy this. Call the police, you're gonna need a witness. If you think you can get hold of this witness, then I believe I'm in. was an industrial powerhouse. Now things are a bit different and it's famous for its art, its music, its universities, its nightclubs, its gacy, its festivals, oh and of course its sport. Now I know there are two football clubs in Manchester or near Manchester, a United case, but we've decided to come to the blue side of town because this is the richest football club in the world and in the next 12 months the eyes of the world will be on the city of Manchester Stadium. is just one part of Sport City, the biggest concentration of sporting venues in Europe. Near to here is the Velodrome, home to the Great Britain track team, who took the Olympics by storm in 2008. Also in Sport City is the Regional Arena, which hosts the Paralympic World Cup. There's also a regional tennis centre and the National Squash Centre, the venue for many international tournaments, including the British Open. It's a far cry from the Kip accent to the luxury of City's brand new corporate hospitality suites. Just look at them. <gasps> so, the stadium has a capacity of 48,000. There's an enormous superstore and some of the best catering facilities in the Premier League. So, where once the Swales held court, now the royal family of Abu Dhabi take control. And the City fans await the new season with trembling anticipation. Sport City is just two miles from the centre of Manchester. Buses go from Piccadilly Gardens, trains from Manchester Piccadilly, and there's also a well-signed footpath which takes you through some interesting bits of Manchester's industrial heritage. Perhaps not one to do on your own at night, though. <laughs> The city of Manchester Stadium is to the east of the city. The metropolitan borough of Trafford is to the west, and it's home to Manchester United and Lancashire County Cricket Club. It's not impossible to get tickets to United games, but you have to choose the right fixtures and book well in advance. Tickets for the cricket are easier to get, though 2020s and Roses matches can sell out quickly. For the time being, Old Trafford won't be hosting test matches, as major renovation of the ground is now underway. Getting to United or Lancashire County cricket couldn't be easier. You can arrive by tram, bus or canal barge. A black cab from the city centre is about £7 depending on the match day traffic. <laughs> 